Welcome to the setup guide for the Revenue Control Systems UFlash Access Control System. In this guide, we will go over how to set up and use your UFlash system through the KP Control software. Included with your UFlash unit, there is a USB flash drive you will use to upload codes and transactions to and from the unit. This USB also contains the KP Control software you will use to manage all codes and transactions on your desktop computer. Plug in the USB into your computer in order to retrieve the KP Control software which is located in the setup file on the disk. Click and drag the setup folder to your desktop. Open the folder. Click the Setup application. Simply continue clicking Next through the installation process At this point, a keyhole icon should appear on your desktop. Once you have installed and opened the KP Control software, you will be able to enter codes to be uploaded to the keypad unit. Notice at the top of the window, there are multiple text boxes. This is where customer information will be entered or edited. To add a new customer, simply click the Add button. At this point, you can change any information at the top of the screen and click Save. Below this is a list of all customers, the customer log. In this area, you can edit any of the entries simply by clicking one and altering the information in the box above the log. Directly below the customer log is the transaction log. This is where you will be able to see each transaction that occurs at your facility. It will show who entered as well as when. This log will be updated each time you insert the flash drive you have retrieved from the UFlash unit. Both of these sections may be printed or searched using the search report button located above each log. On the right hand side of the window, you will notice a list of temporary codes. Each time the flash drive is updated, 25 temporary codes will be generated. These codes will remain temp codes in the customer log until either the log is updated in which all of the temp codes will be regenerated or a new customer arrives. This allows new customers to be entered into the system immediately by reassigning a temporary code to a new customer. This way you will not need to switch the flash disks each time a new customer arrives. Under the list of temp codes is the Update USB Drive button. This will be used each time you update codes to the disk. The Visitors button is used for non-customers who need to gain access to the facility. An example of this would be trash pickup or lawn maintenance. The Import Log button is used to import the transaction log data from the flash disk to the software. Click the Setup button. This is where you can select specific preferences for your system. For the UFlash unit, you will need to click USB under System Type. Below this, you have the option of choosing a management software if you choose to use one. The Controllers button is used to name each keypad and select if it is Entry or Exit. In this window, you can also select Relay Timers, which allows you to unlock the keypad up to twice a day. The Active Zone section allows you to assign each user to a specific keypad or multiple keypads at your facility.
To the right is a time zone button. This is where you can program in times and the tenant codes will work. There are two preset time zones, 24 hours and business hours, which you can set to your facility's hours. If you do not wish to use the anti-passback function, just set the time to zero. For written instructions, please visit our website support page, linked below. If you need technical support, please call us at any time at 757-258-0910.